When it comes to that sort of after breakfast, before lunch meal in Amritsar, Daba is really a delicious treat to look for. And there are Daba restaurants all over the place, but in particular, we are at Brothers Daba right here in Emritsar. And this place is really cute on the inside. We put in our order already. Kelly and the kids are at the table. Thank you, sir. And you can see in here, it's festive. It's a cool little scene. Uh, very popular restaurant. They even have these little tuck tuck tables. Hey guys, how's it going? Food arrived. Perfect timing. Yes. Wow, huge taco, huh? Yeah, cheese Slash on. cheese naan. Okay, so we have a variety of dishes. I, of course, went with the kolcha special. This is just a big buttery piece of bread uh, stuffed. I have my chana, my curd, and a little bit of uh, pickle, I'm guessing, is what this is. Brandon, you went ahead and added the extra butter on top of the buttery. Yeah. How's it looking? Good. It looks so, it's just dripping with butter. That's really good. You can definitely taste the butter. Nice, and it's stuffed, is it not or no? It looks yeah. like some, some veg is maybe in there. Like potato. Okay, potato, alu. Forrest, how's your cheese bread? Yeah, really hot. So hot, so good. Cedar, you also got the cheese naan. Just right? Yeah. I got your mid-bite there. <laughs> Yours is also super buttery, huh? Yeah. Nice. And Kelly, what did you go with here? I got the veg chali and it has, uh, with parada, and it has rice and, I don't know this one, but it's really good. This is a uh, dal, chana, which is the chickpeas. This is like a, kind of like a creamy, sweet, uh, I'd almost put like a dip for vegetables. It's so, like a milky, milky cream dip or something. Nice. And yeah, it's good. Also buttery? Buttery, and the chana has a little, it has a little spicy kick to it. Awesome, all right, well, I'm gonna show you kind of the proper way to eat this uh, kolcha. And really what you do, is uh, you add butter on top of the already buttery dish. So you peel this back. Now they serve the butter right on top of the bread. So it's already pre-melty and warm. And essentially you just glob it on. Uh, so buttery. Greg, can I borrow your spoon? All right, so out comes the butter. Uh, it's just another slab of butter on the already buttery dish. Take that and you just mix it around. Butter makes everything better, as they say. All right, that is awesome. Okay, great. Have you tried it with the chana? Yeah. How do you like that? It's really good. I prefer the white sauce. Oh, you prefer the curd? Yeah. It has that cooling effect. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, let me... Uh, Get in there with some of this. Of course, it's a bare hands eating situation, even with all that melty butter. Just ripping it off. Wow. Yeah, stuff with potatoes, I believe. And just uh, by itself. That's so good. I can see why this is the special. Into the chana. It's just one of those meals. I don't think I could ever get sick of eating this. This uh, northern Punjabi food. What do you think, Cal? Oh man, this is good. This is actually a paneer, some kind of ah, paneer, paneer dish. Oh, so nice. Good. And it almost a little bit sweet. So okay, cool. So not spicy. Check out this prata. This is your oh, favorite. Oh man, you that's the best. Think it's, this. it's all flaky and heavenly. Heavenly. Wow. <laughs> just and, and look at that bite with all those chickpeas. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Man, that's good. I can do this every day. Every day. For sure. Mm -hmm. So great it. Big fan of the curd. We'll give that a try. Oh, it is so buttery. <laughs> oh, awesome. All right, with the curd. Mm. Yeah, fresh curd, ma'am. It's different than yogurt, really, in, in the way it's like kind of curdled. With the, the with the chunky pieces, but very good. Uh, but the chana for me, it's where it's at. Just spicy. It has a spice to it, right? Oh yeah, a, a little kick. It's it's not like multi layers of it's spice. Really it just kind of gets you, and then it, it ends. Yeah. Wow. So good. 
It's almost more like a cinnamon spice. A cinnamon clove spice, maybe. No, not like a chili. Clove. No, not chili at all. Yeah, that cinnamon heat. Okay, so this they're calling a salad, if I remember right from the menu. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to dip the kolcha in there, but I'm going for it. Mommy? Yes. Sweet water. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's good too. It's got a kind of that vinegar bite to it. Yeah, really nice. Ah, wow. Comp constantly uh, mixing between the three flavors. Good combination. Mm. So messy. Definitely a lot of napkins kind of place. All right, Dana, give me some uh, reflection here. How are you doing with this? Really good, but I'm trying to get a little full. Getting it slowing down, huh? Mm -hmm. You were talking about ordering both this and the cheese down. Are you glad you only went with the one? Nice. Horse is doing pretty good on his. Yeah. Side. Yeah, Cedar. Or, yeah. Wow, Cedar. Cedar, how's yours doing down there? Good, I'm getting really full. Oh, are you glad you want the cheese down? Yeah. You get that again? Once a week. Once a week, all right. Oh, well, fair enough. Forrest, how are you doing? Good. That face speaks for itself. <laughs> Yum. He is digging in. How are you doing, Cal, with yours? Oh, man, this is delicious. Is there like a winning combination or is it all good? It's all good. I was actually kind of saving this one for the vegetables. Kind of feels like that would be a good one for the vegetables, but it's like you said, the cooling effect. I really like the paneer. Um, it's actually beating out the, the chana right now, which is my usually go to, or even dal makhani, which is um, if I'm in the States, that's what I used to get in the States. So I don't know. It's pretty yummy. But for today, for the, right now, for this moment, I think it's the paneer dip for me. Nice. Yeah. And you can see this place, man, it's filling up. It's uh, about 12 30 now, so I mean, it certainly would be a busy time, but they have all the decorations up, and it's just constant like table turnover. So, Brother Saba, very popular. And Daba, I had to look it up, basically means roadside restaurant. So, Daba is more of a universal term. So, you'd see Daba restaurants, roadside restaurants all over the place. Kolcha is the actual meal that we're eating. Ah. Did you try this? No, not yet. Kelly pointed out, you've got the, the pickle, pickled onions, really. Yeah. It has a uh, bright color. So, it makes me wonder how hot it is. You can kind of see onion and carrot. I'm going to give it a try with this bite here. See how that goes. It's cold. The bowl, the bowl is cold for those uh, pickles. All right. So I got the, I got the pickles right in there. I'm going to go with the chana first. Mm. Wow. So the pickled onion, it's not really a uh, substantial pickled or heat flavor. It just adds a nice texture with the crunch. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a nice, a nice little compliment to the dish. Hmm. Yeah, the onion in the carrot. More texture than, say, heat, so pretty good. All right, let's try some of this uh, cheese naan. Oh, yeah. We can pull two bars. Yeah. In the future, yeah. I could just get one of those. I didn't know how big they were. Well, yeah, usually, um, I'm actually like glad a... we got two, but uh, yeah, I almost got yeah, a cottage paneer. cheese. Yeah, the paneer. Oh, paneer, that's what yeah. it is, of course. So it's going to be good. It'll diff be different than the the Pakistan parata that we had, so this is just a different type of bread and a different type of cheese. I don't know if you're supposed to mix. Hey, them. why not, man? Go for it. Mm, it still tastes good. Yep, it's still delicious. I don't know, though, just all the different flavors. It's nice to jump in between. Is the all cheese salty or is it? How would you describe it? Um, kind of chewy. Okay. It, it, there is salt in it, but I can't tell if that's from the butter or if that's from the, the cheese. Nice. Okay. Well, I mean, mind if I can have a yes. piece of that? Yeah. All right. The old cheese naan. Mm. Mm. You're right. 
good. So definitely different than the cold show in terms of like the flavor combination. So yeah, cheese sauce is really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I'm definitely a, gonna go with this cold show uh, over that. But the uh, yeah, cheese sauce holds its own. I can see why Forrest and Cedar both liked it. You know, it's a buttery, salty, cheesy, just right for those guys. Oh, uh, lassies have arrived. Mango lassi, yes, sweet lassi. All right, thank you, sir. Wow, that was Okay, cool. man, totally uh, paper straws, so sustainable. Mine's in glass, Kelly's in that metal. All right. What do you think? Cheers, lassies. Ooh, the mango is outstanding. Yeah, so is this one. This is like sweet yogurt, it's good. Nice, is that, is that like, like curd in it or no? Oh yeah, sure yeah. it does. Yeah. Nice Thick. and kind of chunky. Thick and chunky, yeah. Nice, delicious? Mm-hmm, it's so oh. good. This one, the mega one's a much more blended. Whoa, that's really, really good. What do you like about it? Um, it's sweet, which I like that because it gives more flavor. So that's why I like Compared to the mango? Ooh. Yeah. Yes, okay, so up to taste, yeah. taste, taste, taste test. Soft. Here's the mango versus the sweet. Mango tastes like a little bit Swedish, like a, ma- like a mango sweet, like the fruit. Which yeah. one do you prefer, the yeah. mango or the sweet? Uh, I like both of them, but if I had to pick one, I would pick the mango. You go mango over over it? Okay, well, I'm gonna go with the uh, the sweet, give that one a try. Yeah. Oh man, that's just classic sweet lassi right there. I think both are, man, both are great. Mm-hmm. Oh, I do like the mango flavor though. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. either one, is, they're both good in there. It's both perfect after eating a spicy breakfast. Yeah, they both both hold their own. Get it? You want to get into this taste test? All right, buddy. Sweet versus mango. Sweet mango, or sweet lassi first. I really like it. It's like... It, it's sweet and like a little bit sour. Oh yeah. That, that little bit of yogurt the, sour. The, the, yeah, the yogurt tang. Tang. I like this one because of the mango flavor. If I had to choose one, I'd say the sweet one. Yeah, the sweet. Just something about that traditional, original yogurt lassi. Yeah, that's good. Both are good. So yeah, to end your meal. Now we got two, and we're gonna split them up. I, I don't know. I think four. We've been too too much for everybody. But this split along the way, it's a good way to go. All right. So we are going. Oh, we have chai tea as well. Holy cow! Wait, Forrest, try this drink. Let me see Here, I'll bring it down for you. Okay, try it. No, you have to suck on it. I don't like. Okay, well, the non-taste taste test review. We'll listen to me. No? All right, well. All right, so the mango, the lassi, amazing. They also serve chai. Yes. These are hot chais. So here's another another drink option for you. Ah. That's good. So good. It's, um... Just that it's, masala flavor, yeah. and it's creamy with milk, and it's... Kind of a, a good way to also end the meal, really. You can go with warm, the the, chana, the chai, or you can go cold with the lassies. But uh, give it a go. All right, so we're gonna polish off these drinks. Uh, I'll get the bill, I'll touch base with you here at the end. All right, so the final bill they brought out, 1,044 rupee. Wow. But they also brought out this little dish of candy. Uh, go ahead, Kel, see uh, what that's all about. We've had stuff like this before. We are familiar. Yeah. But there those are, are some different. big sugar crystals in there. It's a bit, this is a big sugar crystal. Yep. And then it also has the colors in there. And I bet those have a spice to them. In like the past, little... yeah, but there's also like different shapes. So let me try the little no. one. No, they still have that, like that anise flavor. Anise flavor, that's the one. All right, Cena, you want to take a scoop? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll hold the bowl. You go ahead and help the shelf. It's kind of, yeah, there you go. Perfect. All right, granite. Okay. I put it back in. See about this yourself here. One at a time. 
tastes the same as the Indian dumplings. Okay, okay, like that, that South uh, Indian little sweets. What do you think, Cedar? Oh, yeah. Familiar? Uh, these little tiny things are like the Indian thing. These taste like the Indian like sweet thing. So to end on kind of a, a little sweet note, not bad. Not a bad way to go. Ooh. <laughs> Perfumey. Black licorice. Yeah, it has that perfumey flavor to me. Mmm. So that. Finish off this lassie here. Mango's long gone. Uh, what do you think, Al? Delicious. 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 It was. Mm -hmm. delicious. What I was been missing, but didn't know I was missing. Man, it's so good. So great to be back in the Mertzar. Mm -hmm. uh, eating here at a, a Java restaurant, getting the kolcha or the naan. It's a good way to go. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed that look and do kind of some of the local cuisine. We'll see you in the next episode.